they're enjoying it as much as we're going to. And here's the man, Bill Irvin. So we're reaching the crucial rounds now, Pat, the semi-finals and finals. 245 entries in this professional championship. And just under the record that was established last year of 248. But it's been very exciting so far, hasn't it? It certainly has. I mean, this, the expectations of all these couples is, is so enormous. And here we have the last 12. And of course the title is vacant. Yes, which makes it even more exciting. Here we have Sandro Cavallini and Hannah Cartunan from Italy. Seem to have made a lot of improvement lately, Pat. They're very much an impact couple, aren't they? They don't mess about. They, they sock it to you. Yes, certainly their body speed and leg action is totally over their feet, but it's still got a lot of excitement. Very good use of arms and body. And of course this young lady is so flexible that she is totally in control of all her actions. Clear basic actions which are so good to see. There's plenty of colour in the costumes, Pat, this year, a kaleidoscope of colour. Yes, the men are still choosing the dark colours and the ladies do compliment them with very stunning outfits. Although there's a, a, a different sort of costume. Yes, it certainly is. That's Jason Roditis and Tonya Kozovic from Greece. A very exciting couple. And their costume is very much in keeping with the picture that they want to portray. It's unusual, but, uh, but very attractive and certainly eye-catching. It is, and the freedom of their back and the freedom of the dress can show off the very good actions. And here we have Sandro and Hannah in slow motion where we're able to see the beautiful pictures they create. Yes, it's a nice uh, addition to the techniques that Quasar are using now to give us this period of slow motion on a particular featured couple. Uh, between the dances, we can study them and I'm sure they will enjoy studying themselves and enjoying their wonderful moments at the British Open. Second dance, the Samba. Martin Dielmann and Lydia Weiser from Germany. A very dramatic couple, but the love of dancing shows right through. There's a very tall, strong-looking uh, man, isn't he? And uh, presents himself well around the floor. Yes, he certainly does, and he does present Lydia very well. Sardas walks. Semi-finalists last year in, uh, in just two dances, Rumba and Paso Doble, so they'll be, uh, they'll be pleased that here they are in the Samba this year. This competition, of course, like the professional modern, is uh, selection in individual dances, so a couple can appear in one dance in a semi-final or final, and perhaps not all of the others. from London and here he has the confidence to stand very still while she performs and now he's with her again. Fourth place in the final last year and hoping to finish high again this year I'm sure. She's gone for the feather in her hair Pat. Yes it's very unusual probably to give her a little extra height. Here we have reverse turns beautifully executed with great flexibility and technique. The dress is short enough to show the leg action off to great advantage. Yes, certainly it did. Gary and 
Sundana. They'd be quite happy uh, with their result this year. They were not. Uh, they were in the final last year in just the Cha 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 and Jive, so uh, they'll be happy with their samba appearance. Pretty good work there, Patricia. It certainly is, and it's so beautiful to see it in slow motion. Now this is something, Pat, I've been watching these two all night, and uh, it seems to me to be a special occasion for them. Well, they certainly seem on top form, Yuka Hapalainen and Serpa Sutari from Finland. They're not taking any chances, but dancing as fully as they can. It's interesting, I, I, after the International Championships last year at the Royal Albert Hall, I, I wrote a report and said that I thought that uh, maybe their problem was in the mind, but they didn't seem to believe in themselves enough. And earlier this year, they seemed to have taken a new lease of life, and an astonishing performance in Paris where they had a marvellous result and changed form around and they seem to have cut it over here into the, the British Open with a, a title up for grabs. Here we have Martin Dielman and Lydia Weisser from Germany. Beautifully yes. in balance. Semi-final rumble last year and again this year. Been a bit different look from Alan Tornsberg this year, Pat. Yes, Alan Tonsberg and Carmen representing Germany. He's chosen the casual hairstyle. Yeah, <laughs> not my cup of tea, I'm afraid. It's a bit too casual for me. A different outline from Oran Norden and Nicola Norden from London. Yes, the whole thing looks, looks cleaner. I mean, it's such a gamble, isn't it, when you try to be different? Good if you're different in the right way, but if it doesn't come off, it can look a bit untidy. Karan and Nicola were in the semi-final in all five dances last year and really trying hard to stake a place for the final. Quite a new partnership, Ian Waite and Inga Huss from South Croydon. Still very much on a high from their good result in the Rising Stars on Monday night. Interesting, there's only 11 couples in the semi-final of the Paso Doble, so we had 12 in the Cha Cha Cha, 15 couples because of equality of some of the markings in the Samba, 12 in the Rumba, and now 11 in the Paso Doble. Striking couple, Paul Green and Karen Rufus from Australia. He yeah. again has chosen a different attitude with his uh, beard and his, he's always had quite long hair, but it's a little more casual than it's been. And of course there's the dangly bits on his shirt. Again, adding to that sort of casual look. Rising star winners, Ralph and Olga. Yes, Ralph Muller and Olga Muller Ombanchenko from Germany. Amateur Latin champions last year, rising star winners this year, and here they are in the semi-final of the greatest championship in the world. Very good, but with all the world's best in, it's uh, it's going to be a bit difficult to make the final, isn't it? Well, I think it's tough. They've done exceptionally well to have achieved what they have. 
And here we see the control from Ian and Inga in slow motion. They've a very good Blackpool, haven't they? Extremely they, good yes, Blackpool. Yes, they certainly have. It's funny, Pat, some people can, can rise to the occasion. It, it's, it's... There's a couple we haven't seen uh, yet, other than in the background, who I always think save their best performance for Blackpool. And we should no doubt be seeing them in, uh, I would hope, in the final. This is another comparatively new couple, Alan Tornsberg and Carmen from Germany. Used to be Danish, didn't he, with, uh, with uh, Paul Killick's uh, partner. That's right. Who was it Carmen danced with before, Pat? Um, did, she, she did, did she dance with... Um, there you go. Sandro, I, I think so. I mean, yes. they, they do change their partners, uh, some of them a little bit frequently. Last year's Rising Stars winners. Paul and Lorna. Yes, Paul Richardson and Lorna Dawson. That mum and dad's watching them proudly again. They were involved in the interview when they won the Rising Stars last year. There's George, Patricia. Your husband George there, watching intently. Mr Code with his eyes going everywhere. And Jane Littleton. Yes, uh, made the uh, Rumba semi final and the Jive semi final. They'll probably be feeling a little bit disappointed, I would imagine. Might have hoped to do slightly better. One sure thing, it's tough at the top. It certainly is. Well, a great semi-final, absolutely magnificent. 